Hi guys, Dragonic Warfare here, and today I'm gonna be doing a quick video to just inform you guys on some um, kind of issues that a very beloved phone is having, um, and it's not just happened to multiple people and customers or anything like that, but it's happened to me too. If uh, you go back to my LG Tribute HD review, you can see that I did uh, say this in the review that it was having issues. So I'm gonna put a link below in the description. So you guys can go watch that video if you want to see the full review on this phone. Um, but yeah, it's a very beloved phone. It's a very good price right now for this phone. It's LG Tribute HD just came out maybe like two months ago, if, if that. Um, but very beloved phone. Very amazing specs for the price, guys. It's a budget device, but the specs are not budget at all. Uh, let me just read you some specs right now. So it has a Qualcomm MSM8909 processor. Quad core 1.3 gigahertz processor and 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. Guys, for these specs, the phones usually cost upwards of over $100. This phone, when it first came out, was about $100, then dropped down to $79.99. And some places you can get it, like here in the store for an upgrade or new activation, you can get it for $50. And of course, for Black Friday, you were able to get it for $20. At $20, this phone was such a steal. Like, like a freaking flip phone probably cost more than $20. Like, good lord. Um, it has the newest Android version 6.0 Marshmallow, which is amazing, you know, for a budget device to come with 6.0 Marshmallow. Even though a lot of more devices that are budget are coming out with it, it's still nice knowing that you can get 6.0 Marshmallow. It has a 5-inch um, IPS touchscreen, high-definition touchscreen display, text, emails, games, photos, and everything. So you can watch like 720 HD videos on this, no problem. Another good uh, spec that this phone has is 8 megapixel rear facing camera, which is amazing, guys, uh, with a 2 megapixel front facing. Now, the LG Tribute uh, 5, which I think this one came out to basically replace it, had a better front facing camera at 5 megapixels. The bad thing about this is it has 2 megapixels, but the rear is 8, so it definitely beats the Tribute 5 with its 5. 16 gigs of internal storage, guys. 16 gigs of internal storage. What an amazing phone. But enough of the spec, like I said, you can go to the review and all this stuff. But to the main issue of this, because I don't know why I talk so much, is that's having issues with the Wi-Fi connectivity. So with the, by that I mean it's specially known to happen at the home's network Wi-Fi. A lot of people, even some of you guys commenting on my video saying that, hey, uh, I'm having issues connecting to my home Wi-Fi. I had Time Warner, then I went to Camcast, Camcast, and it's having issues, but it works everywhere else. And I had a customer come in yesterday to tell me the same thing, and I told him it, it happened to me too, guys. Everywhere, everywhere, my job or, you know, somewhere else, public Wi-Fi, it would work. But I get to my home's Wi-Fi, and shebang, the phone would not work. It would not connect to Wi-Fi, or if it did connect to Wi-Fi, it was so slow. It was like... I was like on two or three G speeds, even though it was connected, it was so slow, it would take forever to download something. I would just take it off uh, Wi-Fi and just use my um, LTE network, you know, internet speed, which was way faster than that. And by the way, my home internet's not slow, so you might be saying, oh, it's your home internet. No, I'm paying like $70 a month for this. It's like 30 megabytes down or something like that. Um, so yeah, it's, it's very fast. Um, and I don't have any issues connecting any other phone but this. I have my wife's iPhone. I have my Galaxy. Uh, I have uh, LG Tribute. Or, I mean, LG Stylo 2 as well, as you guys know. And no issues whatsoever. Everything downloads super fast, crisp. Um, everything watches faster. So, like I said, the LTE speed's a lot faster. Um, I've tried looking up some way of fixing this. But everything online, nobody really knows how to fix it. Hopefully, LG will come out with... Uh, an update to fix this, maybe a software update. Um, hopefully, they know that it's a common issue, and uh, definitely, like online, they're just saying basically, go into your Wi-Fi settings, turn off, turn back on. Um, go into the network you're connected to, for, and click, you know, forgot or forget network, and then reconnect with correct with a uh, your password and everything. I've done all that, and still, it does not work for some reason. Some days, sometimes it's weird. It will go fast, but sometimes it'll just not work at all. So that's one issue so um if you have unlimited data like i do on um, boost mobile then you don't have to worry about it if you have good service in your area you can just you know take it off or whatever and just use your home's network or, i mean your cell phone's network without using your home's network but if you really rely on 
having a Wi-Fi in your area, just, you know, be cautious and, you know, uh, check it out. Make sure you can uh, return the phone uh, if it does. But overall, it's a good phone, guys. You, you saw some specs. Like I said, I'll leave this the video description below for my review. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, guys. And hopefully this wasn't such a long video. Sorry I made it so long. But stay tuned for more giveaways and a lot of reviews. Thank you.